welcome dear students in this video i am going to explain about work in our daily language word work refers to mental or physical work like playing writing reading teaching etc but in physics work is said to be done when a force is applied on a body produces displacement in the direction of applied force it depends upon two factors the first one is magnitude of applied force and second one is on displacement we can also write as work is equals to force into displacement displacement but this displacement is in the direction of applied force we can also define force as force is the product of uh, sorry work we can also define work as work is the product of force and the displacement produced in the direction of applied force now it is find that always the applied force and displacement are not in the same direction so what will happen and how we will find the work done when applied force and displacements are in two different direction like suppose a force is applied in this direction and produce displacement in other direction like that there is a certain angle between force and displacement then how we can find the work how we can measure the work to find this we can find it by two ways the first one is that means i am going to explain about expression for work see the first way how to find the expression by finding the component component of displacement in the direction of in the direction of force c suppose a horizontal surface is there and a body is captured let a force f is acting on it consider let us consider this is the direction of force and produce displacement in this direction there is a angle between force and displacement so how we will find the work to find in this to find work in this case we will find a component of this displacement component means part part of this displacement in the direction of force that's why i said displacement in the direction of force to find it let us draw a perpendicular from there say it is point b a c now in the right triangle or we can first write here work is equals to as i said work is equals to force into displacement so applied force is f and displacement we will not take s in this direction so we will write a b now in triangle a b c cos theta if you will find cos theta base by hypotenuse a b by s or we can write a b is equals to s cos theta so we will get the work is equals to f s cos theta this is called the expression for work and this we derive it by finding the component of displacement in the direction of force this formula we will use when the force and displacement are not in the same direction there is a angle theta between these two we can also derive this formula by finding the component of 
force in the direction of displacement so second way i am telling one more second by finding the component of force in the direction of displacement let us consider in this a force f is applied on a body a and the displacement as i show in that s is is the displacement in the previous one i draw that perpendicular that was point b in this we will find the component of this force in the direction of this displacement that means component is part of this force in the direction of displacement to find it we will produce it in the backward direction and draw perpendicular from there suppose m point m point as i said this angle is theta so this angle will also become theta as vertically opposite angles now we can see the component this one that means na is acting along the displacement so we will find this in triangle a n m cos theta is equals to if you will check in this then base by hypotenuse as it is 90 degree so base n a by this one will be uh, f force hypotenuse so n a is equals to f cos theta we got it and as i said force force we will not take this one we will take the component n a into displacement is s so we will write it as f cos theta into s or we will write it as f s cos theta w work is equals to so again we will get the same expression so till then this is the expression for work done this is the expression for work done uh, when the force and displacement are not in the same direction we can also write it as work is equals to force vector dot displacement vector or we can say that work is the dot product of force and displacement vector this dot product definition is also fs cos theta so same thing we can get as it is the dot product of two vector quantities so work is a scalar quantity work is a scalar quantity now we will see certain more terms related to this work and uh, from angle i will explain more terms let us see in this as i said work is equals to fs cos theta so as i said work is a scalar quantity though it will be positive negative and zero so what are the case of zero work done for zero work done as if the displacement will be zero s equals to zero or if theta is equals to 90 degree as cos 90 is equals to zero so either displacement is zero or theta is equals to 90 degree this work done will be zero some example i am giving if we are pushing a wall then force we are applying but produce displacement is zero so in that case work done will be zero now i will say the example of this one 90 if a pulley carrying a load on his head on a horizontal platform so load on his head it will act vertically downward and he is moving on a horizontal surface so displacement in this direction angle between these two is 90 degree so cos 90 work done by the pulley will be zero in case he is carrying load on his head and walking on a horizontal platform second one is we can talk about positive work done positive work if the force and displacement are in same direction that is theta is equals to 0 degree 
like if our object is capped and we are applying a force so it is moving in a on a horizontal surface in which direction the force is applied it is moving in the same direction so in this case the work done will be positive or we can say that if the value of angle will be an acute angle then also work done will be positive next third negative work done if theta is equals to 180 degree cos 180 is equals to minus 1 so students like a uh, work done by friction force if a body is moving in this direction displacement in this direction friction force always acts in the opposite direction so angle between them is 180 and work done by friction force will be negative similarly if we throw an object upward then work done by gravitational force will be negative like if it is moving up gravitational force is pulling down so angle between displacement and force will be 180 and work done will be negative so we have already found that work done being a scalar quantity there will be geo work done, positive work done and negative work done. Now we will see about units of work. First we will talk about SI in SI system that is units of work. The first in uh, SI system. As we have studied work is equals to F s cos theta so force si unit is newton and displacement is measured in meter so newton meter is the si unit or we can write it with capital j joule we can also define one joule so works it said to be one joule when a force of one newton displaces a body through one meter in the direction of applied force theta will be zero so work done is said to be 1 joule if a force of 1 newton displaces a body through 1 meter in the direction of applied force. Second one is in a CGS system if you will calculate work is equals to as I said Fs cos theta. So work will be uh, sorry SI unit of newton uh, force will be dyne and displacement will be centimeter. Cos theta is a trigonometric function, it does not have any SI or uh, CGS unit. So we can say that dyne centimeter or we can call it as a arc. Similarly, we can define one arc. One arc, the amount of work done is said to be one arc if a force of one dyne displaces a body through one centimeter in the direction of applied force. So this is one arc. Now we will talk about the relation between arc and joule. As I said, one joule is equals to one newton into one meter. So one newton is equals to ten to the power five dyne into one meter is equals to hundred centimeter. So it will become 10 to the power 7 dyne centimeter or we can write it as 1 joule is equals to 10 to the power 7 arc. So this is the relation. In next video I will explain about energy and power. Thank you students.